everybody welcome back to the channel as you might have read the title of this video we are finally going to create an RAG question answering system RAG simply stands for retrieval augmented generation and as the name suggests you have an LLM uh, which is let's say not having the context of your specific problem you pass it the context that is the retrieval part you pass it the context the LLM augments its knowledge with the context that's augmented and then LLMs are very good at generating text it's retrieval augmented generation and we are going to create an RAG system on top of the Photoshop documentation so let me just show you quickly so this has about 1017 pages huge documentation so a lot of things a lot of images uh, text how to do something system requirements and so on. so uh, let's go to quickly to notebooks. We are going to use Langchain for this because Langchain out of the box provides a lot of useful stuff. So, Photoshop, RAG, okay. From Langchain community dot, do you call this? Uh, loaders, document loaders, or PyPDF loader. Is there a PyPDF loader? Now what we are going to do is we are going to thank you. So we are going to do a dot dot slash data slash Photoshop reference f. We're not going to extract images because that takes a lot of time and sometimes errors out. So we have docs is equal to loader dot load. Right. Let's just print line of docs and see how many. How what does it have? This usually takes about, uh, yeah, this is done. So it usually takes about uh, five, five seconds or so for this size. And uh, now, yeah, let's, let's so from uh, now we need to split or create a chunk. Langchain community dot text. What's the import for text splitters, right? Huh? So from Langchain text splitters import recursive character text splitter so i was reading about this so this is cool so it recursively keeps splitting on backslash backslash and n blank space and this so that maximum amount of semantic similarity is kept together so we're going to use this we we'll call it text splitter equals recursive text splitter right and then we're going to do pages equal to Oh uh, no, sorry. We'll make it docs equal to text split to the split docs. And uh, chunk size and chunk overload is something that will pass it to chunk overload. Sorry, chunk overlap. So we'll give chunk size as 1000 and chunk overlap as 150. So let's run this recursive text character. Okay. Need to run this cell then should be done so docs is done let's just quickly check the number of docs it's 2683 so because of all the chunking the length has increased and now the next part for us is to convert this into embedding so uh, the best way to choose a good model for embedding is i usually refer to this mteb leaderboard a massive text embedding benchmark is what mteb stands for there is something called as retrieval here I see a very good model, GTE large ENV 1.5. copy this. I say this is my model to this. And there are a couple of things as well which I already have written that I don't wanna copy again or don't wanna write again. And then I'm just gonna uh, copy, copy two more things for the embedding part. So we'll import hugging face embeddings. Right. So uh, just to recap a little bit what we have done so far we had a PDF loader again you don't want to write these things on your own or Langchain has inbuilt libraries uh, inbuilt tools for a lot of these things so better use it so we use a loader we load the documentation basically the uh, Photoshop reference in our case we split it recursively to keep uh, create chunks of it because we cannot we do not have a lot of context length right or or what you can mean what I mean to say by this is your embedding model cannot contain the uh, let's say even if it has thousand dimensions and you're passing it like million tokens or uh, thousand tokens or ten thousand tokens and so on it has a limit to what it can encode in those uh, thousand dimensions right so 
that's why I create chunks of it and we use a uh, vector search basically vector db to find out the nearest matching uh, documents and then give it to our llms that's the idea we're doing it so split the next second thing is to create an embedding model let me move this to the top i will share the notebook uh, after the video or in the description but not import sentence so oh, yeah okay so let's do a pip install sentence Formers, and we should be good after this. Once this is done, let's see. Let's run this. Okay. So now it should download this model. What does it say? Use TQDM and so on. So no error, right? Okay. So, yeah. So so far so good. After this, uh, we'll just please. So once this is an embedding is created, we want an engine that can store these embeddings and uh, perform us with the capabilities of vector search. So kind of like a vector DB. So for that, we are going to use FAISS, which is Facebook's. Uh, yeah, so this is also available in LangChain. Facebook AI Similarity Search is a library for efficient similarity search and clustering of dense vectors. It contains algorithms that search in sets of vectors of any size. Up to one set possibly do not fit in RAM. It also contains supporting code for evaluation parameter tuning. Awesome library. So we will probably need to do install this FAS CPU. Let's do this. We'll do pip install CPU. All right. So with this, let's create db equal to, uh, yep, wait a second, we have, this from, so we, the, the way to use this is by pulling this from langchain and langchain.community.vectorstores, so we'll do db equal to fis from documents, document. now this is the part that takes uh, a long long time at least in my case uh, i don't know if it's not optimized for uh, oh no it's just using a cpu right so it's not using any kind of gpu on, on my mac also so let it take some time we'll speed this while editing one eternity later all right so after an eternity later we finally have our this line of code getting done executing so it, it took about seven minutes 48 seconds all right I'm just going to quickly show you, demonstrate how this works. So let's say I have a question system requirements. I do a db.similarity search. No, no, this is not our final rag pipeline. This is just an example to show you the power of the things that we have done. So see, we get, do get some information, right? Additional free space required during installation. Cannot install on a volume there. Monitor resolution, there's, there's open GL capable system, internet connection and so on. So we are getting something. Let's see when we pass it to LLM, how the response looks. So for that, I'm just going to remove this cell. And since we already have our DB created here, I'm just going to uh, create our template. Okay, right. So template, not like this. Uh, let me just use the template that I have already. So I am going to do template. Use the following pieces of context to answer the question at the end. If you don't know the answer, just say that you don't know. Don't try to make up an answer. Give a detailed answer in up to five sentences. The context will be passed, the question will pass here, helpful answer, and then this. So, import the prompt template. Yep, it's imported. And then let's just run this cell. So, it says, okay, we need to run this. And then we can run this. So, it can automatically replace these variables and we have passed the template. I am going to use, not going to use uh, OpenAI's GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. Instead, I'm going to use Olama, which I have running here, if you can see. And I have already done, yeah, I have already done Olama pull Llama 3.8b. Okay. I think if I click run this, it will automatically show that I have removed any unused layer success. This is done, so let's use this. So I'm just gonna put this text. So we have LLM is equal to Olama model Llama 38B. Callback manager is something to do with the way the text is returned and how do you handle it. So it's streaming to STD out. Retrieval QA is again from Langchain. 
and then we get the QA chain back. So now what we can do is we can do QA underscore chain query. How can I remove background? Let's see. Let's see the output. QA chain is not defined. Let me just run this cell. Okay. Let's see. So this is the moment of truth. We have our pipeline ready. We are asking it a question. Let's see. So according to the Adobe tool, you can extract an object from its background using Photoshop tools. You can use the select menu and choose refine edge command so, and non-destructive program. This command in Photoshop is safe when dealing with highly complex edge content such as wispy here. Alternately, you can also use the content aware fill feature by selecting the... Okay, so let's ask what are the system requirements for Adobe Photoshop. Processor, multi-core, this operating system, this RAM, graphics card, and this. So, looks fine so far. Let's ask something. So, Photoshop, and can I run it with one GB of RAM? So, to determine whether you can, uh, you need to look at the menu. I mentioned the context according to the text. The recommended. Uh, Minimum you got 2 GB or more. Since you have 1 GB of RAM, which is in the minimum point, it's unlikely that you can add Adobe Photoshop with this amount of RAM. Try one view. It might be slow and unstable due to limited memory, memory availability. So let's recap this quickly. So we have a document loader which loads the PDF uh, that we have. Uh, the Photoshop manual, we have a text splitter which tries to chunk uh, or basically split text or uh, split text out of this document so basically in a way that prevents uh, or the, that preserves most of the semantic uh, sentences together so that's why we use the recursive character text splitter then we have an embedding model that takes those chunks converts them into vectors uh, in high dimension vectors and then we use a db a vector db in memory vector db by facebook uh, which is again also implemented in uh, in langchain then we create a template, create a chain prompt, we create a prompt template, we create an LLM using Olama, we create a QA chain using Langchain, and then we can just simply get pass the query to the QA chain and get the result back. And seems uh, seems like a very good uh, bot, right? So on whatever I've asked, whatever I know about Photoshop, I've tried asking it, and it does really well. So. Let me know in the comments what you guys are going to use this uh, rack technique for and you know I'm late to the party but again I wanted to do this for a very long time now since I was able to find some time so I implemented RG using LangChain. Really good, really simple to implement. Uh, there could be a lot of hiccups in production systems but hey at least this is a good starting point right so and it does take a lot of time behind the scenes so uh, a little bit of researching and so on but again nothing that cannot be done in this, uh, this time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such amazing content. I'll be back uh, with another video in some time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.